quick, drop a like in this video in the next 5 seconds if you want to win a 500 million Fortnite V-Buck Lottery. Do you want a free gift or cosmetic from the item shop? Yes. Well you're in luck as I'm now gifting you our old subscribers every day so make sure to hit the big red button and also let me know in the comments your Epic Games ID so I can send you your free gift. And if you subscribe right now you potentially could be our 1.7 millionth subscriber. Also don't forget to use code FRIENDLYMACHINE in the item shop if you buy anything or gift anybody else and let me know in the comments down below if you have done this so I can heart it to show my appreciation for supporting the channel. Chapter 2 Season 2 so far has been a wild ride despite us obviously Obviously having our menus completely revamped and innovated with a new integrated collaborative secret skin, we've seen the most amount of updates ever in a Fortnite season with now the 12.6.0, the first ever .6 update commencing and downtime lifting for this. And with the arrival of this update today we've had a ton of interesting things leaked. Whether it's strings relating to the live event confirming that the storyline will be further continued now in Chapter 2, a new exclusive skin, the rarest skin ever in Fortnite returning to the item shop after 900 plus days with a free selectable style that everybody will be able to earn, or even more hidden rewards perhaps the final ones we'll see this season, even despite us expecting or being confirmed toward a 12.61 content or downtime update upcoming. Just make sure you're sticking around and watching the full video today because honestly this update is that hype that it caused for the first time ever in Fortnite Battle Royale history, not only one skin to trend over on Twitter but two in the same day. So the first thing to note when logging into the game if you perhaps didn't play yesterday, we have seen some doomsday cable developments obviously now displayed in our lobby screen when going to select our game modes in the Battle Pass HQ and finally even leading into the roof section of the Doom Room in Midas's quarters. Speaking of the lobby screen, more particularly where we go to choose our game modes, this section has had a complete clean revamp now, which happens to completely cover our screen, and I definitely think this was a step in the right direction to complement this clean feel and design of our new styled menus leading into Chapter 2 Season 2 or Chapter 2 overall. Also with the arrival of this update today, despite these Storm the Agency challenges that people speculated would be our overtime challenges this season, haven't been implemented but have been found officially in the files in regards to what we need to do to actually earn the free rewards and what these rewards are. As you can see the challenge set is on screen right now and we need to firstly land at the agency to get 40,000 XP which is honestly insane in terms of how easy this is to obviously grant us at least potentially anyways one level, survive storm circles 10 of which we need to survive, open a fashion locked chest at different spy bases through of which we need to do in order to earn this harvesting tool, swim over hatches at the agency, 40,000 XP granted for literally just doing this over one of the doomsday vaults, eliminate a henchman at different safe houses granting us this free wrap which also has a ghost and shadow selectable style believe it or not being the first of its kind in the wrap kind of cosmetic section and we need to do this for three different henchmen, obviously eliminating them at these different safe houses, and finally upon completion of all five of these very easy challenges, we earn this really cool looking free glider. Despite me just showing the overview of what the cosmetic will look like in static or standard form on screen, we actually have a leaked full showcase of all the new cosmetics at the very end of the video, so that's another incentive for you guys to watch until the very end. Moving on, our next hidden rewards actually point towards something more interesting than the rewards themselves that were either changed or granted to us for completely free as a surprise being a Deadpool Week 10 and potential upcoming Deadpool Week 10 free reward that we can earn through completion of one final challenge set. The reason I say this is because upon logging in, if we earn the Dragacorn Glider purchasable from the item shop previously, in Marvel Rarity obviously directly linked to the Deadpool set, this actually granted a slight competitive advantage when using it and obviously was exploited then in competitive game modes because of this to give players that extra edge 
to perhaps win certain gunfights or perhaps to get out of certain sticky situations. This notification will come up on your screen if you haven't already logged in the first time after 12.60 stating the following, we've made some changes to this glider, if you are no longer satisfied with your purchase, you can request a refund anytime before June 19th 2020 using the in-game Fleur, no refund token required, thanks for playing. Now despite this directly being linked to Deadpool and being something that's changed, we have two free rewards linked to other Deadpool themed skins being the Cuddlepool skin, being granted its own built in bow back bling and finally Ravenpool being granted the original outfits integrated back bling but again revamped in this Deadpool theme of Marvel Rarity also. Now despite Epic Games just completing the outfits that we purchased for full price originally, how does this point toward Deadpool? week 10 or even a final challenge set we can complete to earn again a final week 10 reward. Well obviously upon going to Deadpool's lair for a start we know it has more involvement than past just week 9. Despite this being the final challenge set we can complete to earn the final free reward currently as it's foreshadowing the flood or the underwater theme of next season even before we knew this to be. Also from taking a closer look especially on his PC despite the mini game that was added in one of the prior weekly changes or updates not requiring downtime, we have these three folders that said to be season 3 teasers contained directly in front of our eyes this entire time on Deadpool's PC that will only be accessible perhaps in the final three days of this season to again give Deadpool some form of purpose with the flow of seasons despite obviously just being a Marvel collaboration. Next up for hidden rewards which are definitely hidden and we only have strings pointing toward that we'll be able to earn them as of now is this brand new quest for a traveler based skin that Fortori managed to find in the files as he stated the following. A set of challenge strings also got added related to a quest for a traveler. As of right now we do not know what this pertains to or will even involve us doing but I guess it's based around a particular skin that perhaps will also rotate throughout the item shop newly in the next upcoming days if not weeks on the lead up to season 3. Speaking of hidden rewards that we do not know what they'll look like or pertain to anyways particularly we have a brand new exclusive skin leaked from the files as Epic Games are doing another collaboration integration with Nintendo just like the double helix skin that you can see again in the gameplay in the background. ShinaBR tweeted out the following a new exclusive skin for the Nintendo Switch might be on the way. A new cosmetic source for Nintendo got added to the files with today's patch, cosmetic.source.platform.nintendo. A Nintendo Switch is the only accessible platform of which we can play Fortnite on related to Nintendo. Also at the start of every new season and in season 3, yes this will apply again, we usually see an art asset that isn't integrated to the game for a loading screen that we can then apply forever in our Fortnite locker until the very end of the season and this also determines that the end of the season is nearing, if not won't get extended and that's exactly what's happened today with not only this loading screen that you guys will be very familiar with upon loading up Fortnite but also this brand new loading screen too being another hidden reward. Now despite everything being insanely cool that I've shown so far this is the most interesting part that you've all ultimately been waiting for to do with the rarest skin returning to Fortnite's item shop that hasn't been seen literally in 921 days the Recon X but Fortnite Battle Royale in itself, just to give perspective on how rare this is, is only just over 1000 days old, so this was one of the very first skins rotated throughout the item shop for a certain amount or over a certain period of time and never returned again, even with an OG style granted that players who own this skin back in the day could obviously achieve to show that they've played the game for X amount of time or purchased it all the way back when. The reason we know this is going to return to the item shop at some point in the near or foreseeable future if not tonight is because of the fact the recon expert got updated in the files to not only have some slight texture changes to the original skin but also now a new selectable style with the hat off has been updated. This then caused the recon expert and renegade raider for whatever reason obviously with speculation of this returning to trend on twitter in hype of this return itself and despite this hat removed version of the recon expert 
being found in the files that will soon be added to the game, we have no third additional or OG style that players will be recompensated with for earning the skin originally 921 days ago like we saw, obviously following the previous traits of the rare skins, the Skull Trooper with its purple variant and the Ghoul Trooper again with its pink variant. Regardless, here's some early showcase of it in the background as nobody has it currently in the game right now and if that isn't deserving of a like on today's video, well then I don't really know what is. I want to know your guys' opinions on this situation however, considering it's the rarest skin to ever grace Fortnite or even return after the longest amount of time since its original appearance, do you think they should recompensate players who purchased it all the way back nearly 1000 days ago with an OG variant? And if they don't, do you think many people will be complaining about this considering the scarce amount of the community that already own it? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Before I stop talking now and give you guys an additional look in locker of all the leaked cosmetics contained in this update that either will rotate throughout the item shop or will be earned in the Storm the Agency Challenge set, Hypex and other data miners came together to find the first ever Icon Series skin of female gender. All the way back when the Icon Series was originally announced, the Gref G and also Loser Fruit were confirmed to have their own skin upcoming as Ninja ultimately paved the way for this new Icon Series rarity involving creators anyways. It turns out Loser Fruit is the next upcoming Icon Series rarity skin, obviously being the first female addition to this skin or Icon series set, and despite the skin obviously being called Loser Fruit, it comes with a back bling called Bounce Berry and an emote called Fruit Punchers that we can also purchase from the item shop. Now with that mentioned, sit back, relax, enjoy this locker showcase, but before you do, slap a like in today's video and make sure you subscribe with all notifications on if you haven't already, and hopefully I can see you guys remaining active in the comment section of my future videos to come on the channel, so without any further ado, I present you all the leaked cosmetics contained in this 12.60 update. As always, have a good one, take it easy, stay safe indoors and keep washing your hands, and peace.